Oh my goodness, hello! We are back with Miss Blorio. Wave at everybody, Blorio. Yay! We are at level 65. We only have five more levels before we actually make it to my goal of hitting max level on a character that has never killed anybody. That's something to be excited about, I think. You know? All right, well, I think, since the Dark Moon Fair is back, that we are going to go to the fair. And we're going to play, and we're going to have fun, and then we'll work on leveling. But, you know, it's fair time. Yay! <laughs> oh, maybe we'll do the dance game again. Or just, you know, run around and do fair things. Dressed like a court jester because it's cute. And why are we cute? Because we're a tiny little gnome who's dressed like a court jester. I mean, hey. So I hope everybody's doing good. I keep seeing... Oh, look, there's a giant water ball in front of me. That's weird. Um, hope everybody's doing good. I keep looking out because I keep seeing very cute little raccoons outside, which is a nightly occurrence now. So, unfortunately, every time I try to turn the camera to focus on the, the absolutely ridiculous things, hey Pat, yes, I am heading to the fair because it's fair time which is exciting. I was just saying, I, I keep thinking I should flip the camera around so that you guys can see the raccoons, but every time I flip the camera, the raccoons get spooked and run. Which is so not fair. <laughs> you doing good, hopefully? I am tired from a long day of adulting. I had to adult two days in a row. That's no fun at all. But, you know what? I feel like a responsible human being or something. Hey, Jay! We're going to the fair! Woohoo! Fair time! I was just complaining because I had to adult two days in a row. Which is just... Bleh. Who wants to adult? I want to play video games and pretend to be a child. Doesn't really work, though. All right, here we are. We're going to the fair. Oh, wait. Nope. Ugh. I need to go back out and get some flour so that I can bread the frogs that I didn't kill. And as long as I don't kill them, it still counts as, as me not killing. Yeah, I feel like tired is just a forever state. No, let's not go there. Let's go right over here. Hey, Lori! How are you doing? Hopefully okay? Well met. I know uh, this is a hard week for you, so... Be careful. So I will try to do ridiculous things with our ridiculous court jester, Bellario, who I just, like, said her name really weirdly. Whee! So, I discovered something really, really weird earlier today at the fair. <laughs> and I'm going to share it with all of you because it, it slightly disturbed me, but it also very much amused me. So, so we're all going to go look at it together. So, I was just running around earlier today at the fair. And, um, if you look in this outhouse, and we zoom in, there's, there's a tentacle in that outhouse. Why is there a tentacle in that outhouse? Who is using the outhouse that has a tentacle? That disturbed me. It disturbed me greatly. Yeah... I definitely, definitely get you on that one, Lori. I, 
I, I usually turn grief into anger. I don't know if that's healthy or not. Probably not. What can I do for you? But, uh, yeah. Go with honor, it, it is a very, very normal thing. What you want? Yeah, I guess even the old gods need to go to the, to the restroom every now and then. But, you know, it's just a little bit weird. You, you don't think to see a tentacle in the outhouse. I'm definitely not going to be using that outhouse, thank you very much. Because that's just weird. Excuse me, sir, did you know that you have your giant um, just the thing for you. brontosaurus Mission in the way? <laughs> Alright, we're going to go get fishing. And we're gonna bread these frogs that that I did not kill. Yeah, there's there's definitely there are some issues in there. <laughs> I'm not using that outhouse. Not me, thank you very much. Nope, 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 nope. All right, we got that quest done. We get to ride the. Uh, Roller coaster. I almost called it a merry-go-round, which is another thing that we could do. Speak quickly. All of the Farewell. fun things that also get us experience points, which is just like massively even better. Yeah, there's a lot of little things in World of Warcraft that make you go, "That's different." <laughs> definitely different oh my gosh okay so I went to town today and I didn't get it on video yes I'm very mad at myself but sometimes I just don't actually think to stop and yank out the camera sometimes I do I try to remember to do that but um, I went to town today and when I was coming back there was an entire flock of turkeys probably 20 of them and all of the male turkeys were all puffed up and doing their little mating dance thing it was so funny i was like you guys just look so absolutely silly they make me smile time to go fishing gotta catch those dark moon dagger maws I was like, what is the name of that fish? I forget. Oh, also, I got in the mail today um, that book that I was talking about that I, I've been trying to remember this book since I was in, like, sixth grade. I got it today. Look. Yay. I'm so excited. The ghosts. So... I won't be reading it until after I finish reading Alana, but I personally will be reading it very, very soon. So I'm excited. When you find a book that you have literally been looking for for like 30 years, that's exciting. Like I did a massive happy dance. I was like, oh, I'm still so grateful to the person who actually was able to identify that book for me like massive happy dance definitely so how how has everybody else been doing Oh, and speaking of the rest of the adulting, I, I was a very good adult, and I went yesterday, and I did my taxes, I changed the oil in my car, I went grocery shopping, I, I did all of those adult things, even if I really didn't want to, because <laughs> whoever actually wants to do adulting. And then today I went out and got water, since our water here at the cabin is blech. And then after 
I got water. I did all of the blankets in the house. I took them all to the laundromat and did them there because it's just better to do big bulky things at the laundromat. You can get it all done at once. Plus I don't have a dryer so if I'm going to wash like blankets I like to do that in the summertime when I can just hang them on the line which is much much better. Let's do the dance game! Yay! Dancing! We're gonna Good boogie. To you. Dance, dance, Safe dark travel. moon. See you later. I can do this. I know I can. How are you? Let's dance. Woohoo! Let's let's go Sheila. easy because I'm a big, absolute big wussy who doesn't do anything other than the easy dance. All right. Blue, purple, yellow. I got it. Woo! Look at me dance. <laughs> Woohoo! Look at me go. Blue, purple, yellow. This is easy. I'm not ready to go up higher. Oh my gosh, finding a book again is just the best. You didn't know that this was a thing? Oh my gosh, this is like the, the silliest game ever. Like... It's absolutely ridiculous, and I feel bad when I mess up on easy, which I do quite often. But yeah. Woohoo! Of course, we're gonna have to do the game like three more times to actually get 100% on our accolades bar, but it's fun! I think it's my favorite game at the fair. What can I do for you? Because all the rest of them I stink at. <laughs> Not that I'm good at this one. I'm still just so amazed that anybody was able to identify this book by my very, very poor descriptions. You know? And also the fact that evidently it's been made into a movie twice which I think is absolutely insane because I've never heard of the movie, so. So now I might have to look it up. Woohoo, we're getting there. Look at us go. We can dance. We are legendary. We are legend. <laughs> okay, I should never dance again. But that's okay. I'm having fun. So it doesn't matter. I can dance like an idiot if I want to. I can leave my cares behind. Because my friends don't dance. And if they don't dance, then they're no friends of mine. <laughs> See you around. Yes, I am a child. But you know what? That's okay. Watch out, you're gonna get your groove on? No, I'm gonna get my groove on. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, you should. It's it's silly, but it's fun, you know? Ah. 
Although, trying to do this at the harder level, I don't know what I do wrong, but I do something wrong every time, so... Like, I can manage hitting three buttons, but when they start asking me to keep timing going and everything... Which is sad, because I actually used to really enjoy DDR. Like, it was a lot of fun. But, uh... I really don't have great rhythm. Yeah, the random chicken noise is fantastic. Hey there. You gotta love the random chicken noise. Yeah. And we get a prize! What did we get? What did we get? What did we get? We got prize tickets. How many of those do I have? Lorio has 87 prize tickets. Ooh, let's go see if there's anything we can get. I want prizes. Let's go see. I think I was looking earlier today and discovered that I was missing a prize Ooh. here. I've got the bear, I've got the forest strider, I... Oh, I don't have that, but it takes a thousand tickets, so I might have to wait a while. I've got the hatchling, I've got the monkey... Okay, I think it was the toys. I want new toys. I love toys. Can I afford any toys? I got what you need. Let's see, I've got that one. Oh! Do, should, should we get a Dark Moon Whistle so that we can be annoying? Or the Cloak of the Dark Moon Fair? I don't think I have enough for that one. Let's see if I have enough for that one. No. Alright, we need more tickets. Darn it. Oh, I know how we can get more tickets. We just need to turn in our quests. But first, we must ride the roller coaster. Yeah, we can, we can ride the roller coaster... Because that's exciting to do. Do we have tickets to ride the roller coaster or not? Yes, we do have ride tickets. Yay! Tell me of your travel. Roller coaster time. And here we go. Dun 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 dun. Look at the pretty fireworks. Yay! Try not to think about the fact that we are on a wooden roller coaster that was constructed by goblins. And... Ah! Okay. Whew, that wasn't too bad. Back up, back up, back up. Oh, no! It's the big hill. Everybody breathe. Or maybe hold your breath. I don't know. I'd hate to be the person that has to climb up and put the helium balloons on this thing every night. I feel like that would be, oh, not a job for me. Like, at all. Dramatic pause at the top. And... Oh god. <sighs> Alright. It didn't fall apart on us. That is always a good thing. Yay! We did it! And we didn't die. Oh hey, Pat! Have you seen the Shuffling Sands toy? It's the best toy in World of Warcraft. Check it out! It makes you dance and you get a disco ball. And it lasts for 10 minutes as long as you don't do anything else. Even when you're walking. It's amazing. I love it. I have to give, like, a thousand thank yous to the random person that told me where to get this toy. So. Oh, it's the best. I mean, look at her. Look at her go. Woo! 
And you know what's even better? Is pairing it with... Um, toy box. This one. Oh, but I broke... Okay, you have to do it indifferent. Oh, well. Well, now we have a spotlight on us. Well, we turn everything in. But you can, if you put the spotlight on first and then the shuffling sands, you can dance in a spotlight. Um, it's in the Dragon Isles in the bronze area. Okay, Lori. You know, if I put you to sleep, that's actually a good thing. May the eternal I'm just going to be shine. here being ridiculous and running around at the fair and then doing everything else. But yeah, Pat, it's um, in the bronze dragonflight area in the Dragon Isles. After you finish the questing with them, Victory there is a goblin that's over along the rim that's selling things. And one of the things he's selling is the Shuffling Sands toy. So it's really easy to get. You just have to finish the bronze dragonflight thing. Which isn't too hard. And you get a fun little bronze dragon from it. Which is even better. We love bronze dragons. Greetings, man. Greetings, man. There you go. Thank you. Give me the stuff. Give me stuff. We love stuff. You know... I'm tempted to turn off the personal spotlight, but at the same time, I kind of like it. I discovered that this spotlight persists even if you're questing and fighting, which is hilarious. I mean, who doesn't want to run around with the spotlight on forever? It does make me feel a little bit conspicuous, but you know, there's nothing wrong with being conspicuous sometimes. All right, we're going to go and do a couple of pet battles, and then we're going to go to the Dragon Isles and just run around and pick flowers, because flowers, they're fun. Random mount, please. Oh, it's an E. It's a griffin. Yay for griffins. <laughs> yeah, that's true. It does make questing with someone else really, really handy if they constantly lose your character. All right. Who are we going to use here? Pet journal. You know what? That actually works. That is a good team. Oh, were they all healthy? Yes, they are. Okay. Hey there. Safe you know, and here I thought I I was always Hello. quite a, a easy to find person, Farewell. but evidently not if you're questing with someone, especially in Veldraken. Oh, let's totally do that. Go, little snort. Charge! Don't get bitten, silly. There we go. See? Good job. Alright. Ram him. Okay, so, fun story, and I don't think I told it already, but maybe I did. So, who knows? Um... I hand-fed a swan this week. Kind of. I, I did hand-feed him in the fact that he decided to eat out of the bucket of corn that I was holding while I was holding it. And just update, swans when they are that close to you are very big and you worry that they're going to peck your eyes out. He didn't. He was, he was very kind of polite about the whole eating thing, but uh, 
Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be using him as a lap swan anytime soon. Although that might be kind of fun. As long as he doesn't peck me. Swans are silly. I mean, technically all animals are silly, but you know. I think swans are extra silly. I love the spotlight. It's kind of hilarious. Oh, I need to rearrange these guys. There we go. We're rearranged. Also, there is a raccoon right in front of the window. Because, of course, there is. <laughs> he looks so nervous. Hello. I have caught Hello. them all. Now let's battle. Have a good one. Oh my gosh, yeah. Well, that's that's you? what I was saying. I saw a whole flock of turkeys Safe today travels. when I was coming back from town. They're so goofy. Were they, were they all poofing up and acting all all, you know, hot stuff, all the males dancing around and everything? That always makes me laugh. They're just absolutely the silliest things ever. Good job, dude. You did it. You squirted him. Gotta catch them all. Or something. So I don't know if I could do it or not. But I might be willing to try. I think the next time we do an art live stream, I'm kind of thinking it would be fun if I try to follow a Bob Ross tutorial, but do it digitally. I think it might be hilarious. It also might turn out completely terribly. But you never know. It might turn out okay. So I think that's what we might do on our next art live, which won't be this coming week. It'll be the week after, because I do those every other week. All right, let's switch and use him. But I was like, that would be hilarious. I mean, either way, it'll be hilarious. If I succeed, it'll be hilarious and cool. And if I fail, it'll be hilarious just because I fail. But either way, it might be fun to just, like, pull up a Bob Ross tutorial and see if I can follow along with Bob Ross. I'll laugh. For sure. Oh, I always forget if that attack doesn't work, then you have to recover. Rude, Teensy. Yay! Pokemon battle! Go! Hey, I'm leveling up my pets! That's cool. Also, we need to find some place that has... Archaeology point. Oh, right there! That actually works. Okay. Let's go do some archaeology! Oh, that was Jezebel. Okay. I thought Parky was upstairs making a nuisance of himself. But it was Jezebel upstairs poss possibly making a nuisance of herself. You gotta be careful. Parky, even though he's the biggest, most ridiculous, silliest cat on earth, still manages to also be a bully. To Zia. It's, it's so silly. You know, I think I've got it, though. Since Parky is afraid of Q-tips, I could just put a Q-tip on Zia's head. That might work. Also, this is probably completely not interesting. I just realized I was flying right through the trees instead of over them. We're going to go get some 
archaeology things, and hopefully the ogres won't try to eat eat Florio. But we're gonna do it. We're gonna give it a try. Let's not fly right into a wolf. I feel like that would be a bad idea. It's not like the ogres would be able to see her since she has this giant spotlight on. This way. Yay. Still this way. Hello, big ogres. I come in peace. Alright. Hmm. This is going to be hard. I feel like this ogre over here is going to try to eat me. I'm glad that I'm kind of over level for this now. It makes it a little bit less likely that they'll kill me. But we have to get all of the archaeology points so that we can actually go back to the fair and turn in that quest. These are important things. In our goal of hitting level 70, and actually we're only five levels away. I am so excited. I don't know what I am going to do as far as lives after we actually hit level 70 with her. Maybe we'll start doing Dreamlight Valley. I actually got that game for Christmas and I have not touched it yet. That could be fun. Disney Dreamlight Valley. Doing all of our Disney dreams in a valley, evidently. Or we could play more WoW. Who knows? We'll figure it out. This music is so dramatic. It's making me feel like I should duck and cover. I actually also saw the first two deer I have seen since last fall today. They were just hanging out on the side of the road, eating leaves. But it was nice to see them, because, like I said, I have not seen anything other than deer footprints since probably October. So I was happy. I was like, look, it's Bambi and, and, and another Bambi. It's all the Bambis. They're probably going to be having babies soon, so hopefully spring is actually going to be here. I always feel so bad when I see the little fawns and it's still winter. Yeah, I could try another wild leveling challenge. I don't know what I would do. 100% of every single quest in every single zone. I feel like I've done that already in real life. <laughs> but I could probably figure something out. Alright, let's go back to the fair so I can turn this quest in. Yay, more quests. Quests for everyone. do a challenge where I have to actually level up a class that I hate. Which would mean that I couldn't be a hunter. <laughs> that would be so bad. Oh my god. I really do feel like hunter is the only class that I'm actually good at. Every other class I am mediocre at best. And then there's a few classes that I don't think I've ever managed to level past, like, level 20. Because I pick a thing and just stick with it, thank you very much. Whee! 
back to the fair. Oh, this is some seriously dramatic music going. I kind of like it. It also could be fun just to take um, a character all the way through the Dragon Isles quest chains. Because they have some amazing quests in the Dragon Isles. I've really been enjoying them. Alright, we can turn in the archaeology quest. Yay! I would say I could do a, like, permadeath leveling challenge, but I think I would probably die so fast and the challenge would be over. I don't know. We'll figure it out. I have faith. Thank you. Now I can buy that toy. Yay, toys! Oh, that could be fun. I've been trying to do on my just videos series, you know, fun quest chains. I did a Dragon Isles one this week. I did the Serene Dreams Spa quest chain since you can get um, the Trader's Tenders for it this week. I'm getting a whistle. Yay! Hey, for real. And then we're going to blow the whistle and see just how loud and annoying it is. Alright, let's take that off and let's go. Eh, I've heard louder. But that's okay. It was fun. And it's another toy, and we love toys. All right, we're going back to Valdraken because we need to level some more, some more. Off we go. Did you know, Pat, that there is a, a achievement that you can get in the Dragon Isles if you find there's this one little Tuscar camp and there's a couple little kids that are building a snowman. And if you help them and build a snowman, you can get the do you want to build a snowman achievement. It's fantastic. All of the silly things make me happy in this game. And there are so many silly things. Yay, we made it. Also, I need to check the world quest map because I'm pretty sure that there are some world quests that don't involve killing that we can do with Blurio if we just do it. Alright, what have we got here? Nope, we can't get that one. We could just do some dragon racing. That's always fun. Oh, I love... I am having so much fun in the Dragon Isles. Like, I have fun no matter what, but I really like the, the Isles. They make me very, very happy. And I like flying around on my big dumb dragon. And I don't think I've found them all, but I keep finding these paintings that you can complete in the Dragon Isles, and that's kind of cool. Also, there's an achievement for getting all of the, um, the kites in the Waking Shores and, and releasing all of the kites, which is really cool. 
I can't remember who I got that achievement with, but I got it with somebody. Alright. Where are we at? Looks like right down here somewhere. It is Hello. an excellent day for a race. Yes. Come fly with us. I am totally here to fly with you, we my dude. Safeguard the Isles. Oh, I'm gonna suck at this one. It's got all these switchbacks. Alright. We're gonna try it anyway. Continue to serve. Hopefully we can do this. The worst part is when I accidentally hit the ground. And then you pretty much have failed. Well, my time's going to be terrible, but maybe I'll at least get the the course finished. Oh, ah, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. <laughs> yeah, I'm doing good. All I want to do at this point is finish this course. Which I might not do. Oh, I am so bad at this. You can do it, Blorio. We can do it. We can somehow do this. Maybe. All right. I think we're back on track here. That was so bad. <laughs> but you know what? We got a bronze. Yay! <laughs> you know, it was fun. That's okay. That was so bad. <laughs> That's all right. Let's go see what else we can do here. Is there anything we can do? No, we're not going to get fish steaks. Oh, we can go ride the raft and take some pictures. And we can also go right up here and maybe get that metal if I can find it. Where the heck is it? Oh my gosh, it's just, it's like up, up a little more. Oh, I ran out of steam. All right, well, down we go. Yay, I found some. Well, hello, Glowworm. We're, uh, we're leveling, darn it. We are totally leveling. And I just did a very, very bad dragon race. But you know what? I completed the course, and I think that's what counts. At least that's what I'm going to say is what counts. We're just going to keep on picking flowers. Doing some world quests every now and then. Up we go. Yay. And now we're going to go take pictures. Ah, you didn't miss much. All you missed was me going to the Dark Moon Fair and dancing like a... a dancing like there was no tomorrow. Oh, I... Don't worry, we will do some more dragon racing. Once I find some more dragon racing quests. Because I'm not good at it, but you know. Whoever counts, you know, being good at something doesn't mean anything. It's all the fun that you have along the way. And I guess technically I will never get better at dragon racing if I don't just keep doing it. And it's so much fun. Alright, where is this piece of metal? Oh, it's way down there. Down we go. 
Uh, it disappeared. Well, that was rude. Fine. I didn't want that piece of metal anyway. I only thought I did. There's a flower down here somewhere. <laughs> oh yeah, it's, it's like going to be Easter this week, isn't it? Happy Easter to everybody. I almost forgot about it. Thankfully, I, I remembered in time to grab a couple of ham steaks when I went to the grocery store. So I'm going to make ham steaks and mashed potatoes and probably just green beans because I'm boring. But it should be good, you know? Food is generally a good thing. Great fish gather in droves. Go I would gather love meat for us to gather meat for you, but that is exploits. not my thing. Oh, do you want to see the funniest thing that I found? Another funny thing that I found? Oh, well, you know, giving yourself a birthday present is always a good thing. All right. You see these big old frogs? This big frog, I think, ate whoever was sleeping here. Because if you look at him, he's got sunglasses in his mouth. I think he ate somebody. Green beans are fantastic. I'm growing green beans this year. That is definitely one of the things that I am putting in my garden. Anyway... That toad ate somebody. I don't know who he ate. I kind of feel bad for whoever it was, but that toad definitely ate someone. The stuff that you find when you're just randomly flying around in World of Warcraft is kind of hilarious. Alright, we're going to ride a raft once I get there. And we're going to take pictures of the local wildlife. Oh, so one of the best quests in the Dragon Isles, I am pretty sure I have convinced my youngest son to help me make a video of it because he is a fantastic person at voices. And the minute I did that quest, that was the only thing I could think of, was that I wanted to do a video with my son basically voice acting the quest. It's the best quest ever. It's a little bit sad, but it's also so, so good. So, ooh, 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 can I get a picture of that, that flying dragon? Come on, flying dragon, get into the shot. There we go. Ah, that was a very good picture. Oh, I want to get the, dra the dolphin. No, okay, there we go. Ooh, that one looks good. We're getting all kinds of good pictures. It's kind of like Pokemon Snap, but not. You know? I can live vicariously for your Yay! And we got new boots. That's exciting. We should put on our new boots. Oh yeah, we should definitely put on our new boots. It, it will keep us from getting killed as fast. Alright, let's see what other quests we can go do. We could do... Hmm. Why are all these quests about to expire? That's no fun. They're all expiring in 10 minutes. Ah, well. Let's see here. 
No. No. What is that? Ooh, cool. Oh well, we'll go do some mining. Also, now now our outfit doesn't match because I put on new boots. We are rocking the, the new footwear, but none of it matches now. That's okay. That is why they make the transmog mount, so I can always fix it. All right, I see a flower. I see many flowers. Can I actually find the flowers, though? We, we definitely have to run quite often to stop ourselves from being eaten. Oh, there's the flower. Okay, I found it. It's like, dude, you, you do realize you're in the tree. Was I not on him? What am I in combat with? I'm not in combat with anything. Nothing is after me. Well, that was weird. Hmm. World of Warcraft seems to think that I'm fighting something. I don't know what it thinks I'm fighting, but I can't. There we go. Now I can get on my mount again. That was a weird glitch. You know, we'll just... I, I'm sure that there will be new quests that pop up as soon as these ex expire, so it's fine. And we can get lots of experience points picking flowers. Because Blorio loves flowers. Who doesn't love flowers? Whew, that was dizzying. As long as none of these big mean dragons, like, actually try to eat us, we'll be fine. Some of these dragons are looking a little bit cranky, though. Not gonna lie. Looks like if we go up... Maybe. Ooh, what's this? I found a cave! What's in the cave? Oh, there's a lot of bones in this cave. Huh. Well, that's random. That is just a random cave. That works. In case anyone wants to know how I find so many weird things in World of Warcraft, it's because I'll be just trucking along and I'll be like, Hey, where's that? Is there anything in there? I want to see. This is one of the four um, mounts that you're given in the Dragon Isles. You've got this one, and then I think if I do this, it'll be... You've got the bronze one. He's very cool looking. And then... Uh, no, I didn't want the bronze one twice. I didn't want the bronze one three times. Give me the red one. There we go. There's my red one. And let's see, there's a blue one. Who's not going to show up. You know, doing this random thing... You know what? You know what we're going to do? I want this one. And a big blue one. There we go. So you get four of them. And there's supposed to be a fifth one coming. That's... I don't know what it looks like yet. I just know it's going to be kind of a long and snaky looking one. Which I'm kind of excited for. I think it's going to be awesome. But yeah, you get these pretty darn quick after starting the Dragon Isles, you get the red one. Because as you can see, 
questing in the Dragon Isles require it. It requires a lot of flying, which is cool. Also, yes, I know that piece of metal burned me a little bit as we were mining it, so we'll just have to heal ourselves a little. There we go. We're all better again. Alright, can I get to this stuff without being eaten by a dragon? That is the question. Honestly, I mean, and I don't know if everybody would agree with me. And it doesn't matter because everybody is entitled to an opinion. But in my opinion... This is the best expansion WoW has ever put out. Like, don't know if everybody else feels the same way, but I am absolutely loving this expansion. And I feel like I'm kind of picky about them, so... I don't think I'm going to be able to get that. I think there's just too many bad guys there. Ah, dragon! But yeah, this is, without a doubt, like 100%, I think, my favorite expansion, at least since Wrath of the Lich King, which was another really awesome expansion. Okay, nobody look at me, nobody try to kill me, thank you. I just want this flower. There we go. I see something here. Oh, up one more. Okay. There it is. Oh great, this one's gonna burn me again. Hello, Mr. Dragon. You just heal me for a while, okay? Thank you. Oh yeah, Dragonflight has been... And for me, it's... It's, it's kind of twofold. The quests are written so good. And exploring feels so good. Like, I have found so many things. Did I tell you, Pat, that I've, I've found two underwater bars in this area? I was so jazzed about that. I was like, oh my gosh, they brought back the underwater bars. So, I was excited. And there's so many, like, really good side quests. Like, the main story is really good as well, but the side quests are just phenomenal. And they all kind of tell a cohesive story, which makes it even better. Like, every side quest that I've done has told an actual story. Which I am... I am so for that, you know? I'm like, yes, this is just so cool. All right. Off we go into the wild blue yonder. I really need to stop trying to sing. I'm going to burst everybody's eardrums. It's going to be terrible. Yes, there are underwater bars. I found eight of them out in the Battle for Azeroth areas, and I have found two so far here. I'll take you to one here in a minute. We'll, we'll head to one. We will just pick flowers along the way there. They're so cool because they're random and there is absolutely no reason for you to go to them. 
They're just something cool that if you find it, Blizzard's like, hey, you found it. Good job. All right. No, I'm not going to be killing anything in this nature preserve, but thank you. I'm sure a lot of other people are having so much fun doing it. Just not this character. Many, many other characters. No, up, oh, one more, there we go. No, not hunting the preserve. Oh, I... I mean, if, if you want your eardrums burst, it, it is a good way to get that to happen. Look at all the butterflies. Oh, how pretty. I see why the name of this place is the Fluttering Cavern. Oh my gosh, I want butterflies. Oh, they're so pretty. See? What did I tell you? Random stuff that you just find as you're playing through World of Warcraft. Butterflies. Everywhere. That's so pretty. I'm sure that there's probably a quest in here. We'll talk to this guy and find out what, what's going on. We serve he says, more. isn't this cave marvelous? The shimmer wings congregate here for some unknown reason, flying around in strange dance-like patterns. If I were a superstitious dragon spawn, I might call it a ritual. I'm here to study their behavior. Every shimmer wing I collect, catalog, and release gets me one step further to understanding the phenomenon. Though, as you can see, there's a lot of shimmer wings to go through. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I can help. Give me a net. Oh my gosh. Okay. I'm going to go catch butterflies. May the waters protect you. We're going to catch butterflies. Yay. Oh, okay. We have to be closer to them. Come here, butterfly. Did I catch it? I think I caught it. Did I catch it? Come here, butterfly. I want to catch you. I mean, I think we're catching them. I don't know. Woohoo! Look at us catching butterflies. Yeah, I'm ever going to get this poor character actually all the way leveled up if I keep getting distracted by butterflies. Look at them, though. They're so pretty. You know, I feel like I'm that, um, that dog from Up that's like, Hey, look, squirrel! That's me. I'm not saying I get distracted too easily. I just might get distracted too easily. Ooh, I caught two! Look at me go. I have no idea why I'm doing this, but you know. Yeah, we're, we're catching them. Can we do anything with them? I just want to catch them. But I want one for a pet. Ooh, look at us. I'm sure that there's probably some sort of a secret quest here, but you know. I want the vibrant one. Can I get the vibrant butterfly? Maybe if we go up, catch some up top. Hello, I want this butterfly. This one right here. Caught it. <laughs> oh, the endless ways that I could amuse myself. Although, just like somebody with a bad case of ADD, I'm starting to get bored. That's okay, we'll catch a couple more butterflies and see if anything magical happens. I want that one. And I want that one. I really want one of the big ones. 
Can I catch a big one? Get me up there. Get me up there. Fine. I guess that's the issue with being short. Get a whole guild together just to catch butterflies. Hello, yes. What's your guild activity? Well, we catch butterflies. I wonder if they're going into my bag. That would be hilarious. Nope. Maybe if we catch one of every color, we'll get something special. Ooh, look at that one up there. Oh, that's a pretty butterfly. Oh, hey, there's like pictograms on the wall. That's cool. Huh. Well, that's kind of neat looking. You know, I bet the WoW Secret Keepers have been over the Dragon Isles with a fine tooth comb at this point. Oh, hey, another picture on the wall. What's this one? Ooh. Oh, that's neat. Okay. I'm digging it. I don't know why, but I am. Ooh, I'm, I don't know if I've caught a green one. Come here, green one. Thank you. Oh my gosh. I'm not sure if it'll get copyright claimed or not, but I think I'm going to make myself a music video this week. We are the Butterfly Guild. We represent the Butterfly Guild. The Butterfly, yep. Red one. Oh, did I not get you? Come here. Ha. Got it. Got to catch them all. I really want to catch a big one. That would make me so happy. I also really want one of these permanently as a pet. Because I like pets. Alright, well we'll go talk to this dragon dude one more time and see if he gives us any further instructions but you know that was a pretty distraction just running around catching butterflies the waters flow again how many of you only just started what else can you tell me about them ah all right well the titular shimmering wings of the shimmer wings are in fact transparent in spite of how colorful they look they are made up of thousands of chitinous scales that reflect light at different frequencies depending on the shape of the scales this not only gives them a shimmer but ensures that their color will last longer than a pigment huh. well the more you know <laughs> All right. But anyway, back to heading to the bar. All right. Where am I at? I need to go that way. Head to the ocean, because you can't have an underwater bar unless you go underwater. Oh, no, 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 no. Bad. Bad dragon. I wasn't trying to play with you.
Now I just have to find it again, but it's right along the shoreline. There's actually two things over here that are so cool. Once I find them. There's even a secret pet that you can get over here. I haven't gotten it yet, because you have to collect a lot of different things to get it. But, it's around here somewhere. Gotta find it. Ah, found it! So you land here at the Hissing Grotto, and you can find a beach party that is going on. Just a random beach party. You can go over here and set up the instant tent. Gotta love an instant tent. Actually, I really do love the instant tent. I want that. You can eat some food at the Oceanside Feast. And there's no real reason for this to be here. <laughs> oh, I, I have so many pets. I have stupid amounts of pets. You can come over here and flip their board if you want to be mean. Look, she's got a pool floaty. Hey, Rizzo. Why do you have a pool floaty? Stop. Welcome, friend. Oh. She said, Killa Zaga Alago Lugalur. If you ever well, need anything. Okay. If you say so. Is an adventure. Or, hey, is it adventuring time? Gruff loves adventuring time. Oh, well, it, it's not adventuring time. We're having a beach party. That's what time it is. Oh, this explorer is lost. They're like, we don't know where we are. We don't know what we're doing. Other than definitely getting absolutely blasted. Alright. We're going swimming. Diving! Woo! Cannonball! And when you cannonball, you see there's something unusual under the water down here. Let's swim down to the bubble bath, which is an underwater bar with a dance floor. We've got all sorts of interesting things over here. You've got uh, some bubble-filled bikini patron up here. She's just swimming around. Our enemies will fall. Your her enemies are going to fall. What business have you? I have no business. And then you can go down here. Here's another bubble-filled patron. You need something? I mean, I always need something. You can go over here onto the floating dance floor. And just Burst into dance. It's a fun spot to hang out with friends. You know, these underwater bars. There's not much to them. But you can dance with the bubble-filled patrons. And you can even buy some... Knowledge is the best you can buy energy. some sludge fizz, an oyster shot, an anchor drop an oil drum, the burning black beverage. You, you got lots of drinks. Come back and buy And sometime. you can even go over here and pet Cuddles. Look, it's Cuddles. Cuddles is so cute. Look at Cuddles. Cuddles is big enough to eat us. That's a little bit disturbing, but you know, that's okay. Or you can just hang out and dance with these guys. Oh, yeah. Like, there's so many cool little RP spots in the Dragon Isles. I have found 
so many. Which I'll get to them eventually in my video series. But I am nowhere near the Dragon Isles yet. We're still on Kalmandor. Oh yeah, staying alive. Ah, 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 ah. Can I get up on top of the water, please? Can I get out of the water? There we go, flying. There's also, if I can find it, I'm gonna try and find the um, the Centaur Dragonkin speed dating bar. They get a little offended if if a two legger comes into the bar, but you know they don't kick you out or anything. They just tell you that it's a a singles bar for the four legged folk. Which is hilarious. And it is just a random thing that I came across that hopefully I can find again. It's so funny because from what I understand from people that I saw when I, after I found it and looked it up and was like, what is this? Evidently, even if you are a druid and you go in there, they, they still are like, nice try. Which I think is funny. Because it's a bar for centaurs and dragons to date each other, not for humans. So that's the wrong one. And it's not too far off the coast. <laughs> what wasn't that like hand jive? Now you're saying staying alive and then hands and knees and all I could think of is the hand jive scene from Greece. Oh, I haven't watched that movie in so long. Um, I don't know. I have not taken a Drakthir in there. I mean, theoretically, they shouldn't be able to object if you're a Drakthir. Oh, time to get injured by metal again. <laughs> She's like, ow! That's okay. I'm getting smarter. When I mine one of those terrible binding nodes, I just pop up my little Healy dragon. It makes everything better. Oh, not quite. I think we need to vivify a little bit too. There we go. All right. I know we're somewhere near this bar. I just have to get up into the air a little bit and kind of look around and figure out where I'm at. Oh, and Parky. Hi, Parky. Par Parky, I can't see through you, Parky. Parky. You can't sit on the keyboard. Oh. Parky is a menace, by the way. I just figured I'd let you guys know that. He is definitely a menace. He's cute. But he's a menace. He likes to get up. And if I don't pick him up and give him cuddles right away, then he will instantly start trying to sit on the keyboard. Because he thinks that's funny. I'm not sure I think it's funny. Especially when he starts hitting the keys. But he thinks that he's hilarious. You know, maybe, maybe that's it. Maybe he's trying to play. That could be it. I think it was down here. Yeah. 
near the Emerald Gardens and then kind of off to one side. If I can find it, we will go and visit this bar where they don't want humans. They're like, what are you doing here? Nope, not there. You just have to be committed to, like, exploring every nook and cranny that you come across. Which is kind of my thing in World of Warcraft, so I'm good with it. I know it was when you find it, there's... Oh, hey, metal. Ah, get up there, get up there, get up there. You can do it. There we go. Well, yeah, I, I think that's part of it. He's like, hey, what are you doing? I want to play. Give me attention. Which, I mean, I, I can sympathize with that, but at the same time... He puts my legs to sleep. Which, that part's not as much fun. Let's not get eaten by anything as I try to find this spot. Okay, I don't think this is it. I'm gonna find it, darn it. It's a little bit off the beaten path. But I've been able to find it twice, so if I can find it twice, I can find it again. Is this it? No, but I don't know what this is. That's cool. What is that? Check that thing out. Huh. Another random cave. Gotta love Random Cave. But that wasn't what I was looking for. I'm looking for the Centaur Bar. Was it this road? It might be this road. We'll follow this road and see where it goes. off the beaten path. Yeah, the runes were really cool. Okay, yeah, this is the way to it. So you just, you know, come along here and keep on going. I think. I could be wrong. This could not be it. But I think it is. Alright, let's mount up again. We need speed. Oh, wait. Flower! Gotta love flowers. Okay, now. Let's go back down. It's off the beaten path, but not too far off the beaten path. So we'll go down. There are just so many cool things that you can find. Okay, it might be this path. No, I already tried to take that path, didn't I? You know, something... Well, I mean, does it count that the cat keeps coming along and sitting on me? He's really good at that. He's like, hi, Mom. I'm going to sit on you because Several you are fun. Several the gardens were caught up in a wild growth of lashers. Please, cull the vines. I would love to cull the vines, but really, I don't want to cull the vines. I want to find the bar. Hmm. Where, oh where, is the centaur bar? Oh where, oh where can it be? 
I know it's around here somewhere. And we're about to get eaten by a thing, which sounds terrible. Boost! There we go. Maybe it was on the other side. I don't think it was, though. That is the sleepy dragon. Oh, by the way, there's also an achievement that you can get if you find all five of the sleeping dragons. And I think just slash love at them. You know, show the sleepy dragons a little love. but I need to find this bar. Otherwise, I'm going to start thinking that I hallucinated it, even though I know I didn't because I took somebody there once already. Therefore, I know it's real. Oh, I also found the most random quest. And... It might have been near here. It was just this random quest where you help a centaur who has fallen in love with a dryad. And they're like, how can I let this dryad know how much I love her? And, and you just help out. And you're like, oh, I will be sure to tell her. Well, this is a pretty cave. <laughs> well, you know, I feel like just about anything might potentially come and sit on Blorio. Because she's very, very small. And, you know, I'm not trying to, like, hate on her or anything. I think she's fantastic, but she is very, very small. I'm just flying around like a crazy person at this point. I should probably at least pick some flowers. This is a really pretty area. The shady sanctuary. It's very pretty. This isn't exactly where I wanted to be, but it's pretty. So that counts for something. Ooh, let's not go in the lilac ramble. Yeah, I know you want me to kill things, but that's that's just not what I do. I do wish I could remember where the heck that bar is at. You know what's going to happen. I'm going to find that stupid bar tomorrow. It's going to be like, yep, I found it. It's all good. Thousand Needles is fun. I only vaguely remember Old Thousand Needles at all, though. Like, I remember trying to do all the shimmering flats and everything. But New Thousand Needles is just as much fun. Because now you have all that stuff underwater. Like the Secret Goblin Room. That's fun. Maybe the bar was on this side. We'll go check it out. Florio's like, I wish you would let my dragon recharge. It would be so much nicer. I don't think that I have this right. Parky, what are you doing? You can't sit on the keyboard, you silly cat. I feel like I probably tried it and failed it at least once. Oh yeah, I don't mind the water content. 
I have... I mean, it's no worse than flying content. Especially here in the Dragon Isles, trying to do all the ups and downs. But yeah, I'm pretty sure I tried the race, but... I'm bad enough at dragon racing, you should have seen me at any other kind of racing in this game. It doesn't stop me from doing it, it just definitely points out that I am not good at it. No, I'm not going to kill anything. I'm going to pick a flower, hopefully. As long as nothing eats me! Haha. <laughs> we escaped. Alright, well, I can't remember where the heck that dumb bar is at, so now I'm just going to feel dumb. And like I said, I'll probably find it tomorrow. I'll be like, oh, huh, that's where it was. I know it's around here. Close. I wish I could remember where. Yeah, I can imagine that the race was hard. Like, I don't remember much about it, but I do remember if... If it was the one I'm thinking of, I failed it because it was very, very hard. And, I mean, if you think about it, honestly, I've loved World of Warcraft for a very long time. And I'm also very grateful that things have gotten easier. Because Old World of Warcraft used to absolutely kill me. Quite literally. I, I would die, my poor characters would die so often. <laughs> and it got frustrating. Like, I like to have a little bit of mitigation to make up for the fact that I am not an amazing character. At least, gamer. Back up we go. One more loop to see if I can find this stupid bar. Oh, I absolutely am one million percent into the quality of life changes. Like, I went back um, when I was doing the Starter Zone videos and just did that little tiny bit in Wrath of the Lich King Classic where I made my Death Knight and I was like, oh... Oh, I'm not having fun. Like, I was like, why am I only looting one dead character at a time? I want to loot everywhere. And just all the other little quality of life things that we have. I'm like, yeah, I really like those. I like them a lot. And the minimap, like actually marking things on the minimap is so incredibly awesome. I really enjoy that. Oh, okay, I was like, what in the heck? Like there's just, there's been a lot of little things. I, maybe some of them. But then they added a bunch of quests that are really good, so... I don't know, it's six of one, half a dozen of the other. Also, can we just take a moment to listen to the spring peepers in the game?
Like, this is such a good place to just go and, like, chill out. It fools my brain into thinking that it's actually spring. And I'm into that. Right, we're going to try one more spot. The spiders are hungry today. Free our friends before their meals. Um, you know, if I could do it without killing anything, maybe. Poo. Let me just emphasize poo. I told you that there was a bar and then I couldn't find it. I feel kind of bad now. Oh, well. There's a centaur bar. Um... Wait, is... Half, I think I might have found it. Yeah, I did. Well, there we go. I found it. Yay, me. <laughs> right as I was giving up. Alright, so you go up to this bar that is not marked as a bar or an inn. You can't use it as a rest area. And first things first, you can talk to this guy. And he says, My buddy convinced me to come here with him. But when they wouldn't let me in, he went in without me. I'm looking for love too, you know. So now you know that there is going to be something about looking for love. My time is fleeting. And then you can look at these intimidating bouncers. But we're not intimidated. And you come in and the bar's name is the Main Squeeze. So here we are in the Main Squeeze. Oh, it is a rest area. You just can't set your hearth here. So you can come and if you look over their heads, these are all mingling singles. Because this is a singles bar. I never gave up hope. <laughs> and when you try to talk to him, it says, They look you up and down with a confused look on their face before returning to what they're doing. Honor all dragons. But you can actually buy some, some drinks. But yeah, you can just... Welcome. It has been so long. They're like, they're mingling. But then when you go, I think you can talk to... Yeah, she's, she says, Hey, how'd you get in here? Four legs only. Out. Parky's like, Mom, you're being awfully loud. All right. There you go. So, yeah, it, it's kind of hilarious. I never gave up hope. And I think think maybe you can talk to the bartender too or here the chef hello well i mean the chef That's will so sell nice. you stuff but yeah she gets very very huffy and like i said from what i understand even if you come in in cat or bear form they still tell you to get out so it's funny it's just one of those random little things that they stuck into this game because the WoW developers have a great sense of humor. Oh, and then we perched up in a tree. Alright. I think we are going to head possibly to these Azure Plains because it is my absolute favorite area in Dragonflight. And hopefully we won't get killed by all of these things. Oh, flower. Can I get to it? No, I fell off. Darn it, I want the flower. I see it. There we go. Ah! There we go. Haha! -ha, I did it! 
she is beauty, she is grace, she is going to fall flat on her face. Metal! Yay! More metal! I see it on the map. There it is. You know the best part about this? Is usually after stream, I will stay on just a couple more seconds so that Blorio can mail all of this metal that she's been mining to my other character who's an engineer and needs it. Um, if you're talking about, like, Rambo, yes, and I did the beginning of that quest chain as a video, and I had to admit that when I used to do that quest, I never knew it was Rambo, because I haven't seen that movie, <laughs> and until I was looking it up online for the video research, um, I thought that, that I, I thought that it was a parody of the A-Team. Because that is just how media savvy I am. Thank you very much. But yeah, I have a video of doing that quest chain where you go and you get, uh, basically Rambo recruited and you get his team back together. WoW makes some good quests. Like, not always. Some of the quests are really dumb. But there's a lot of really good, good questing in this game. Especially if you take the time to read the quests. Which I understand not everybody does, but I've been taking a lot of extra time and making sure to actually read everything. And then just sit here and listen to the, uh... Spring Peepers. God, I feel like it's uh, early spring when I can finally open up my house's windows. Sitting here listening to it. Alright, it says that there's an herb. Oh, it's right in front of me. You know, we're almost about to level. I think. Couple more flowers and herbs and we will be getting it. Oh, there it is. I'm like, where's the flower? I'm looking for the flower, please. Found it. I love trying to get the flowers and the metal and not get eaten by whatever animal is closest to me. It's a challenge. There we go. Challenge. Oh, they did add some new quests. Hold on, let's land somewhere and check and see what we can do here. 
That one involves killing, that one involves killing. Oh, let's do one more. Let's do one more race. I want to do a dragon race. See if I can do it and manage to not run into walls this time. One of our foragers spotted food nearby. See what you can gather. Oh my gosh, yeah, don't don't let your phone die. I'm just going to go and do a vroom vroom dragon race. Because even though I'm terrible at them, they're fun. Oh, flower. Distraction. More distractions. Thankfully, my quest tracker keeps me in line here. keeps me pointed in the right direction. I keep forgetting she cannot walk on the water yet. Where is he? My dude, where are you at? Seriously, my dude, where are you? Oh, there it he is. It is an excellent day for a race. It Come is an us. excellent day for a race. All right. Wish me luck. Here we go. To see them return. Fly through the rings. I'm going to give it my best shot. Wait, did I already miss one? Oh my gosh, I did. Well, that's embarrassing. I missed the very first ring. Okay, I feel like I'm getting it better this time. There we go. Up. You know, there are people that are really good at this that actually go fast. I might not be all that good. Woo! I almost came to a dead halt on that. There we go. Picking up speed again. I might have to title these streams World's Worst Dragon Racing Person. Excellent Yay! <laughs> we completed it. You will soon be formidable competitors. Oh. Have you tried the new book that I, I started as well? The um, Alana book? I think you'll really like it. Like, it's... Um, a little bit younger skewed for audience wise but it's so good like it's technically a young adult book but don't let that put you off of it it is so so good all right we are going to the azure span because, yay, I leveled! Huzzah! And yay! And we're gonna log out, I think at one of the camps. 
I think we're gonna go to one of the camps in the Azure Span. Because it's my favorite Dragon Isle zone. Because it has the best music. I always describe the Azure Plains music as um, honestly to me the Azure Span is Grizzly Hills meets the Jade Forest Blubber was Blubber was okay but I don't know if I'm going to take it past okay, if that makes sense. Look at those dragons. Or mammoths. But yeah, this, this zone quite literally has the best music I think ever in WoW at least. Your span must be shared with my fans and others around the world. Think you can capture the majesty, friend? No, because I'm I'm looking for a good spot to go and log out, my friend. Where is that? Is there an archives? We could go there. Let's go to Camp Nowhere. That looks like a fun place to go. Alright, we're heading to Camp Nowhere. Because that just seems like the best place to, to hang out. Oh yeah. And it captures... It captures that... Bully demographic. I think that was the thing that... Was both wonderful and terrible about Blubber. Was it was actually written from the perspective of the bully... And that's a really hard perspective to find sympathy with, you know? So I think that might be what it is. I, I kept telling people, I'm like, dude, I'm having flashbacks to being picked on in school. But, you know, that's not to say that the book isn't good. It just definitely gave me being picked on in school flashbacks. Oh, Glowworm, I don't know if you've seen this, but look at this base camp. Like, it is so awesome. You've got this big old tent. Look at that. And you've got the Mommy the Tuscar. Just became more interesting. And Baby Tuscars! Look at them! They're the cutest things that exist. <laughs> Mama says my tusks will be bigger than a mammoth. A stranger here? Oh, I was bullied all through well, school. Now, you're certainly a surprise. It's fine. Grade school, middle school, all those things. Kids are mean. Look at Bunter! Oh my gosh, look at Bunter! He's so cute. Tuscar kids are so cute. Who might you be? Ah, uh, there are some, like, this is where you find all of the really good side quests. You just go off and find stuff, and you're like, ah, yes. Come here, kid. Come here. Come here, talk to me. He's too busy chasing chickens to talk to me. That's so mean. Is he... Oh no. Okay, she it's her staff. What can I do for you? What's up, my dude? Oh! That's so sweet. This guy just says, "Hello there. Thank you for taking the time to say hi and I hope you have a great day." See you. Later. Oh my gosh. What does your wife say? Look at them. Oh no, that's his little girl. Good day to you. No, no, I want to talk to your little girl. Hello. 
Stop, Rob. I don't want to talk to you anymore. I want to talk to her. Hey there. He's See being an I overprotective father. You. Look at the kitty! That's a big cat. Oh, we're petting the kitty. Oh, kitty. What a cute kitty. I had good times, but I mean... I, um, I don't think I, I was bothered by it as much in high school, but yeah, I was not a cool kid. Glory to the Sindori. I had heard that dwarves were professional drinkers, but after seeing how easily these expedition members get tipsy on a few drinks, I'm unimpressed. <laughs> Hold your head high. Oh, that's so cool. Oh my god, okay. I can't do this quest with Blurio because it involves killing. But this quest chain that this guy has, um, it's very heartfelt and poignant and it is such a good quest. Like, amazing when I did it. It almost made me cry but in a good way if crying can be considered good i might have to do that as a, a standalone video some of the different quests in in dragonflight that are just they're so good they are so so good but that is where i am going to leave it tonight because it is midnight it is the witching hour and i need to go to sleep but before I go to sleep, I still have to make another video for tomorrow because I haven't done my Sims video yet. So I still need to do that before I can go to bed. <laughs> so thank you so much. We managed to get Blurio another level. Yay for another level. And when we join her again, we'll work on another one. So thank you as always. Hit the thumbs up on your way out. And I will see you next time. Bye!